The story of Geralt of Rivia has come to a close. You can continue traveling the world in search of Witcher contracts and adventure, but everything will be as it was before the game's last chapter, and quests tied to the main storyline will no longer be available. You have unlocked the ability to start a new game plus. To do so, blah 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 blah. Hey everybody! Welcome back to The Witcher 3. When we last left off, we finished the main storyline, the base game, and so today, we're gonna be starting off one of the two DLCs, Hearts of Stone. This is really exciting because a lot of you guys have been saying that this is gonna be awesome. And some even say that this might be better than the base game, so I'm really looking forward to it. It looks like we are back in Kaer Morhen. Is anybody around here? I guess not. Yeah, cause everyone's waiting for me in Skellige, I guess, canonically since it reverted back to before the main story ended. So now it's kind of like Geralt's just wandering around doing his own thing while everyone's waiting for him. <laughs> All right. Oh, since we're in Kaer Morhen, this is actually really good. Hold on. I think some of you were telling me that I had missed a quest here before in the south. If I follow the path here, like, maybe somewhere around here? So before we officially start Hearts of Stone, maybe that's something we can do? Yeah? We probably want to visit the stash, too. Oh, by the way! The mods! Yes! I added a potion label mod, so I can actually see what potions and runes I'm looking at without rolling over them. Not the best place to look at it, but you see what I mean, right? Everything's properly labeled now. It's not the prettiest, but I think it beats having to roll over everything just to find the one potion I'm looking for. So, there you go. In terms of other mods, I looked into some of them, but in the end, I think this is all the mods I'm gonna stick with. Because we've been playing like this for like 100 hours now, and I tried some of the other ones I was thinking about, like adding a marker on screen for the quests when you use Witcher Senses, but it just didn't feel right. Pretty sure I'm not gonna make any more changes to the mods and stuff, so let's head south and see what's waiting for me. Come on now. Whoa! There's a gigantic black cloud here. Slower. And it's suddenly thundering. It's cold. Unnaturally cold. Investigate the weather anomaly using your Witcher senses. <gasps> what the heck? It was all sunny over there, but it's so different here, for whatever reason. Oh. oh. Medallion's jumping. Boulder must be saturated with magic. Okay. Boulders form a triangle, affecting the magic aura. Thing is, who arranged them? Couldn't have been Lambert. What the heck is that? An illusion. The rock? Ooh. Letter from the resident mage. Mage's notes. Language is a bit archaic. It's still intelligible. Lesbeth, I'm very flattered by your interest in my humble greenhouse, and naturally, will describe to you how it works. Believe me, I've nothing better to do here. The witchers, being witchers, are tight-lipped, and even when they do finally say something, it's rarely anything very interesting. But enough of my complaints. Let's return to the greenhouse. Greenhouse is, of course, merely a term of convenience, for this construction does not require any structure that could be called a house. It consists of three monoliths made of magic absorbent stone. Basalt is best, or porphyry, or but granite will do in a pinch. The monoliths must be arranged in a triangle and then charged with energy from the elements of fire and water. Since a triangle has three vertices, there is no way to lay out the power symmetrically, and that is precisely the point. The unstable arrangement will strive towards equilibrium according to the principle of the conservation of magic energy. Heat is a side effect of this process, and so, as they say in Beauclair, voila. Within the triangle, conditions become like those of a greenhouse, 
favorable to the cultivation of exotic plants. Two last remarks. First, charging all three monoliths with the same element will accomplish nothing. The arrangement will be stable and there will be no flow of energy. Secondly, the arrangement will naturally lose its charge over time and thus must be checked up on regularly, especially bearing in mind that once equilibrium is achieved, the temperature will fall and heavy precipitation will result. Following the ancient principle, quad magia facet, natural laxit. That will have to do for now, your Hieronymus. P.S. Perhaps by way of thanks, you could come visit me? True, the witchers have made me swear on all that is holy, not to reveal where Care Morn lies, but you, my dear, dear Lesbeth, can be trusted. The Hieronymus, the mage again. He's dead already, right? It's the guy who broke his legs. Huh. So he's sending a letter to a girl he likes? Talking about a whole bunch of science mumbo jumbo? <laughs> Not sure she really mm -hmm. wants to hear that. Gotta hit two stones with Igni and one with Ard. Piece of cake. That smell. Some herb grew here. Oh, he was cultivating some exotic plants here. A rust eaten sickle. Herb garden. Probably cultivated by the mage in residence at Kaer Morin. His magic made it a greenhouse. For a time, could try to tune these stones. No point without some instructions, though. Which we've thankfully just read. Dried needles. Juniper or Thuja. Hey, this is pretty cool. Using your magic for greenhouse purposes. Seeds. Wolfsbane, I think. Oh, at least the mage isn't killing... It's not like the mage is hurting anybody with his magic. Although he is making the weather pretty... <laughs> there was just one dark cloud over this specific area. Boulders form a triangle, affecting the magic aura. Thing is, who arranged them? Couldn't have been Lambert. Two Igni, one Ard, did you say? I'm pretty sure we had a few puzzle quests that involved doing something similar with Ard and Igni. Form a triangle yeah. affecting the oh! magic aura. Sorry, Roach. Thing is, who arranged them? Couldn't have been Lambert. Oh, whoa, Someone's clearly unhappy with a change in aura. Oh, my god, where'd you come from? He just straight up teleported here. What the heck? Is this related to the guy's magic or? Just somebody who likes living under a black cloud. I got no clue. It's gotten warm. Very warm. Even exotic herbs could grow in this temperature. Return to the site of the anomaly in a few days. Ah, so we've kind of made the conditions good again, and we can expect to find some plants if we come back here later? Okay. That's kind of cool, I guess. I will look forward to it then. I guess that means we'll officially go start the Hearts of Stone now? Yeah? Or, um... Oh, actually, you know what? There's one thing I want to do before we do that. Slower. We're level 34 right now, right? Why don't we go craft the armor? The Mastercrafted Woven Armor. The one that I was gonna do, but we couldn't because at the time when we were doing the last quest, we were level 33. Yeah, let's go pay Hattori and Yuana a visit, really quickly. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? Listen, would you craft something for me? Yes, please. I would like to make a... Woven Silver Sword, if that's okay. Level 34, we got all the parts. Yeah? Okay. And a Woven Steel Sword. Also got all the parts. Wonderful! And I think that's all I need from you, Hattori. Thank you very much. Yeah. 
So long. Mm hmm. So the difference in the swords, we can't really see it because all swords kind of look the same. But it is master crafted now, if you look at it. We don't even have to add any new runes or whatever. Next stop, Joanna. Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? Do I ever come by for any other reason? Need some armor made. Witcher's armor. By the way, can you repair my stuff for me? Or actually, if I'm gonna be making a new one, maybe I don't have to repair this. Okay. Level 34, master crafted woven boots. We're missing meteorite silver ingot. How many? One. We're missing one meteorite silver ingot. I'm just trying to check them all at once. Me one meteorite silver ingot. Cured draconid leather, dimeridium plate. Okay, let's start with that. Crafting components. One meteorite silver ingot. Dimeridium plate. Three. Can I make three? Yes, thankfully. And cured draconid leather. Ooh, the amount of leather is a little bit tight. Oh no! We don't have enough of this. Hmm. I wonder if we can dismantle for it. Maybe? Cured draconid leather. It's always kind of a crapshoot because we don't know what makes what. I feel like they should list this in a different way, but I mean, we already all know that the, the inventory system in this game is not the best. Um. Uh, oh, this one. Chitinous shell? We need this, right? All eight? Maybe I'll just do six. And then back to crafting here. Cured Draconid Leather. How many? Heck if I know. Around three? So now I should be able to make Master Crafted Woven Gauntlets. I didn't actually check for that earlier, did I? <laughs> Master Crafted Woven Boots. Master Crafted Woven Armor. And master crafted woven trousers. I'm missing meteorite silver ingot again. No problem. Meteorite silver ingot. Coming right up. And we're good. Okay, now we got the full master crafted set. It seems like even this is not the final level, though. There is a Grandmaster level here, whose bonuses we still can't unlock. Do we have to repair anything? No. Great. Thank you. Take care now. Thank you so much, Iwana. Oh, I'm wearing it already. I don't even have to put it on. And I don't have to adjust any glyphs or runes. It looks pretty similar, to be honest. I can't really see what the difference is. Probably because it's from the same school, so it was already going to be pretty similar to begin with. <laughs> but now that that's done, I think we can officially start Hearts of Stone. And how do we actually do this? We have a side quest for Hearts of Stone. And we also have a main quest. Let's start with a main quest. Evil's Soft First Touches. We have to see someone... We have to go see Ogierd von Everick. When Geralt later told me the story, which began at the Seven Cats Inn notice board, he mentioned he had felt drawn to that place, as if some strange undefined force wanted him to appear there on that day and at the time. <laughs> like 50 hours ago. I didn't give this remark a second thought until I heard the tale to its conclusion and realized its beginning had been no accident. And it began like this. One day, Geralt arrived at the Seven Cats Inn in search of his next contract. He perused the notices hanging there, yet found none to be of much interest, and was about to go on his way 
when a man came to nail a new parchment on the board. The notice announced a certain Ogierd von Everick, residing in the nearby Garen estate, was looking for someone to kill a dangerous monster lurking in the Oxenford sewers. Sounds like a job for me, thought Gerald, and he set off to see this Ogierd and learn more about the contract. Little did he know, this was to be the beginning of a great adventure, one filled with both delightful diversions and deadly dangers. Okay. And where is this exactly? All the way up here. I guess we'll fast travel to the isolated hut and walk over here? Huh. Somehow, throughout this whole time, we just never visited this area before? Really? Interesting. Okay. Well, run, Roach. We can go visit it right now. By the way, I haven't looked up even a plot synopsis of Hearts of Stone, so I'm not even sure what this is supposed to be about at all. And run, even Roach. the phrase Hearts of Stone, like what does that even mean? Like somebody who's very stone-hearted, unflexible, inflexible, and unforgiving, like that? Or is it something more like Medusa looked at somebody's heart, and it turned into stone. <laughs> I don't even know if Medusas exist in the Witcher world. So yeah, these are currently my two best guesses as to what Hearts of Stone means. And it's hearts! More than one heart of stone. If we want to find out more, we'll have to find this ogierd guy at the estate first. Whoa! What the heck? Oh my god! What the hell is this? Wait! How come we've never seen these before? Are these DLC monsters? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like spiders! I don't like spiders! They move so fast! What the heck? Oh! What the heck? Oh my god, they're so strong! What now, you piece of filth? Oh! Help! Kill it with fire! Seriously! Oh my god! Ah! It's so fast! Die! Please! Oh my god. No! 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 Quit moving! You're too damn fast! Show me what you got. Roach! Help me! Oh my god, there's another one! There's a little baby! Oh! <gasps> what the hell did we just come across? <gasps> what is this? No! Why would they add spiders? Oh, this is a DLC thing, right? There's no way otherwise that we've never come across something like this. Oh my god, that was so scary! Why do they walk so damn fast? I nearly used all my potions for this, holy crap. What the hell? And there was a monster nest here, but we didn't even get that question mark. Is it new? Yeah, we only have five question marks. And they're all like, down below I think? Oh, we gotta get rid of the nest first. Where is it? Oh, Monster look at this. Best destroyed with a dancing star or grape shot. It's all like cobwebby and stuff. Ew. Oh. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I want to go home already. What was that? <laughs> Would that be an insect? Are spiders insects? I don't even... Oh my god. Arachnomorph. 
The spider shall never lie down with a fly. Ophiery proverb? A similar saying could gain ground in our land concerning arachnomorphs and everything unable to flee them, meaning most every creature in the world. True, the tillers of the earth and fellers of trees need not fear them in their daily labors, for arachnomorphs, as distant post-conjunction cousins of common spiders, strongly prefer deep, dark caves and unfrequented, sodden swamps. Anyone who does come across them, however, had best hope his conscience is clear and his worldly affairs are in order, for his life shall soon end, and not even the fastest man in the world can outrun them, and only a few witchers can hope to slay them. Even worse are the more aggressive and dangerous kind known as arachnomorph colossi, oh my god, I don't even want to hear that name, which are capable of devouring an entire ox in seconds. <gasps> what? Ard Axie? How can fire not be good for it? That's how you kill spiders, right? You kill it with fire. Oh. Seriously, I'm so tired. I'm done with this DLC already. Thank you so much for watching me play Hearts of Stone. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, we were right here. Faster. Some 240 years ago, a certain Jocelyn Garin arrived in these lands, a hockey traveler, writer, brawler, and souse. Garin looked around and saw the local meadows in bloom, cool shadows beneath charming glades, and glorious sunbathed fields. All this inspired him to settle down here for good. His new neighbors treated the arrival with suspicion, yet they changed their minds and warmed to him once he turned a gracious host who would fill their cups once and again with the exquisite wines he had brought with them from his homeland. Oh. A lord from a foreign place? Okay. Wild one. You alright, Ducky? <laughs> What's a wild one? Oh. Blimey. Those are some razors you've got. That bloody nilf guardian imperial can kiss me down there. <laughs> Any truth As to the it? Dwarf say, They're starving in Down Valen. with all horses. Everybody's a wild one here. Black pudding cures any hangover. Hey, witcher! How about joining our band? Oh, I mate! Your mug's not familiar. What is it you want? Looking for old Geert von Everick. Ah, that'll be inside. <laughs> Everybody has that haircut. Olgierd von Everick. I'm looking for him. Not here by that name. But you told me to come in here. Can't help wondering. Who are you? Who do we look like? A crew of cutthroats? Or a band of former soldiers who got lucky? Ah, but that's where you err. Cause we're sons of nobles all. <laughs> and daughters. So, gonna tell me who you are, precisely? The Redanian Free Company. The Wild Ones, folk call us. Owing to the boar in our coat of arms. Sons and daughters of nobles? Interesting. I was told I'd find old Geert von Everek here. Someone's made an ass of you, brother. <laughs> <clears throat> So maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. Something tells me you and me have got different mams. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm Olgeard. Tell me, what brings you here? 
No, no, I'm all geared. Oh my no, god. Not likely. I'm all geared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Geralt's used to being the butt of a joke like this. What's happening? You folk are a hoot and all, and I'd love to stay for more laughs, but time's short. Whoa, shit just got serious. Hear about the monster in the sewers. Seems old Geert von Everex offered a bounty on it. Shit was serious from the start. Goes without saying with a witcher. How's that? The purge you lot of emotion. It's why you're all stiff. Hey! You think they shoved the long pike up your ass? <laughs> 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 All right, Master Witcher. Jests are done. Whether the good bit as it is, I'm impressed. Come on, I'll take you to Olgird. Any more jokes and I might want to stab you in the face. <laughs> what do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. Bit of advice, Geralt of Rivia. Once you meet Olgird, try and pique his interest. He doesn't know me. I gotta pique his interest? He's the one wants a monster dead. Aye, but he don't need you to kill it. So, you want this job? You gotta grab his attention. And he's one to get bored mighty quick. You alright, Ducky? <laughs> okay. Oh my god, is this actually a Medusa thing? Ottoman, sir. You've a guest. Do you know what types of sculptures fetch the best prices? Statues of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. And what have we here? A naked wench. What do you think of her? We gotta grab his interest? Sculpture is not my field of expertise. Too honest? Gotta admit I like it. Too sucking up? <laughs> I prefer Gernt's works myself. Pretend I know what I'm talking about? Rather talk about the notice. That's probably a little bit too dry. Frankly, gotta say I prefer the work of Pax Gernst. Ah, the Kaviri school. Are you an Oxenfurt man? No. Know some folk who graduated from there, though. Ooh. I used to like Votticelli. The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock, ideally proportioned. Not a flaw on its surface. Painfully perfect. As lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside. Whoa. <laughs> That's better. More interesting, at the least. Very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. Partake of some refreshment first. He hasn't even asked who I am yet. Ataman Olgeard. Long may he live. Long live the Ataman. Long live the Ataman. Long live the Ataman. Come and drink with us! Well, we haven't a choice now. <laughs> Fetch us some wine, dear. And a nibble or two. This some special occasion, or just feel like feasting? Every occasion special. Today we celebrate a dubbing. Whose? Squire Herodor's new sabre. I've hit on a name for her. Fair sabre, I dub thee Traditiana. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like everybody here is kind of drunk. Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become its victim. Ooh, the way she prepared game. 
had no equal. That why she was in the sewers? To fetch game? Nay. She went to a fair with her sister, or cousin, matters not. Daff wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the Oxenfurt sewers. And you know women. Each craves a prince, and will wade knee-deep through shite to get him. Vissy was no exception in that respect. Now she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. <laughs> hey! Leave her be! Is there any way to treat the Lord of the Manor's daughter? Apologies. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, the contract. So, you'll check it. This guy's surprisingly sober in certain aspects. Just one formality to resolve first. My pay. Never you mind that. Return with the beast's head, and you'll have leave to take anything you wish from here. Awfully generous. Still, I'd prefer to agree a specific amount. Oh, fine. How much would you like? Three? Four hundred crowns? Four hundred and fifty. Agreed. And that'll be in addition to whatever memento you wish to take. Rich guy. Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me its head, and the reward shall be yours. Is it that simple? Because a lackey earlier was telling me how they could have this guy or the monster killed easily. But they're asking for me specifically, for whatever reason. A frog prince. Hmm. Why would they choose a boar for their shield of arms? Feels like the pig is usually associated with being lazy or dumb. Although they're actually really intelligent. Take one down, pass her around. 99 barrels of rum on the wall. Hey, <laughs> aye. Aye, rum in 99 barrels. That'd be a good time. What do you say we look for the cellar? Cozy up to a hefty jug. Aye, you drunk. Go home, you sots. Everybody here seems kind of drunk. You that mad cunt who hunted kings? Maybe. And they all have What's the hairstyle. Or not all of them. Barn? That bloody Nilfgaardian Imperia can kiss me down there. This contract is probably not as simple as it seems, right? You've seen war, mate. And it shows. Olgierd von Everick. To this day, I do not know what caused Geralt to inquire after the contract posted by Olgierd von Everick. That famed Witcher curiosity? An ominously light coin pouch? Or perhaps it was some other, more nefarious force. Whatever the impulse, Geralt decided to visit the locally infamous nobleman and pursue the bounty on the sewer monster. From their very first encounter, Geralt knew Olgierd was a unique character. He led an informal band who worshipped the ground he walked on, though he clearly was from a different sort than they. Educated, a lover of art, and an adherent to a certain noble code. Yet Geralt also perceived something indefinable within the man, something years later he would call a void crying out to be filled. Is that why he's always seeking out interesting things? Geralt. Okay, well, I'll be back later. Whatever, as long as he can pony up the cash, I don't really care. You! Puss papers! Name's Geralt. But I'm gonna call you Puss papers. That a problem? Get to the point. Got an offer. Potentially lucrative Puss papers. Someone's killed me mate. Name was Clivert. You're to figure out who did it. Then cut the bugger's head off. Why not avenge him yourself? Seems like you all relish swinging your sabers. Aye, we do. 
And if I knew who'd axed Clive at, I'd have gutted him ages ago. Thing is, I don't. But you see a lot with them puss peepers. You'll track him down. Yeah, I don't normally kill people, but like that's ever stopped me from accepting a contract, right? Keep talking. Clivert dealt fist tech. A few days past, he rode to Bowden to take a delivery. Never came back. Been there? Actually seen his corpse? No. But Clivert was one damned reliable orson. We was to meet. He didn't show. Can only mean he's dead. Find the bastard who did this. Find him and kill him. I'll pay top coin. Need to think it through. Clivert's got a scar on his forehead. Not unlike yours. Spot that, you'll know it's his body. Said I'd think about it. Know what, puss peeps? One look at a bloke and I know what he's made of. You'll do what I ask. I bet anything on it. Look for me in Oxenfurt. The Alchemy Inn on the main square. Adela. Rose on a red field. Oh, huh, Geralt's strangely non-commitmental about this one. Usually, aren't we just like, okay, sure, we'll do it. And then we can decide later on to do it or not. Blimey. There Those are sabers. Drink and smoke and fight you got and mad dance with lasses blithe and body. What a weird bunch They're of people here. Nothing like a good band of mates. Jeez, <laughs> they're kind of loud too. Okay. Well, the one that Ogier gave us is the main quest. And then we also have enchanting, startup costs, and rose on a red field. Well, the enchanting one's pretty nearby. Is the stage for this DLC going to be Oxenford? Seems like we have multiple things there. That would be kind of nice, because Oxenford wasn't really a place we utilized too much in the main game. But uh, this one's pretty close by, so I think we'll walk over there first. And there's a town here too. Yeah, a lot of little things going on. Have we just never visited this area? In the main game? Like, I just never came here? Really? Wow. Okay. And this one's here. Level 33. This one's level 32. Well, let's go then, Roach. Come over here, buddy. Hopefully, we won't run into any more spiders along the way. God, I'm not arachnophobic, but those things were just freaky. They were walking way too damn fast. And that's part of why spiders are so scary too, right? Because they always walk in such a strange, unpredictable pattern. It's freaky. It sets off all the alarm bells in my head. Oh, there's multiple paths here. Hold on. Oh. If we keep going this way, we should be hitting the town. Run, witch. Come on. Oh. This picturesque little village's beauty makes it a frequent subject of works by bards and poets. The best-known piece whose action is set in Brunwich is The Betrothing, a farce penned by Stan I... Stan Islas Islas. <laughs> the reputation thus gained has made it a popular destination for bohemians from Oxenford, who escape here during the hottest months to pass the time with contests for the most beautiful feathered cap and hunt for a golden horn held at night in the nearby woods. Hmm. Is there gonna be a lot to do with art and stuff? Seems like it's the case so far. Thief! Robber! Be ye warned, there's a rascal wandering about. Claims he's a war hero who lost a kidney and begs for alms. No more than two days past, I sheltered him in my home. In good faith. Next day, I found he'd eaten my larder bear, and had sniffed out where I keep the wine and drank every last drop. Had half a barrel left, no clue how he fit it all in his scrawny belly. Plus, my daughter claims he fondled her during the night, and with both hands too. This lying scoundrel said his name was Odrin! But who the devils knows what he's truly called? 
Again? All the way here? You don't even live here. You're all the way in Novigrad. Gomes and Bros, Carpentry Services. Speedy and solid workmanship. Furnishings in the Novigrad style, dining tables, canopy beds, alcove accessories, and larderware. All for prices that can't be beat. Our customers hail from Oxenford itself. Want to dine like a duchess? Go see the brothers Gomes. Quick willy for mighty thirsts. Best meat around! Any man who considers himself a fine judge of fine drinks, come see Bill, better known as Quick Willy. The summer has been a warm one, and the meadows are all abloom, so we have a bumper crop of honey. Whether it's double mead you crave, or you have a yearning for a triple, Quick Willy's got you covered. Master Topical at your service. Got a hankering for mushrooms? Wanting to brew a bit of a herb tea? Dreaming of a way to relax after a hard day in the fields? Come see Master Topical. He's got bolites and all sorts of other fungi. Dried nettle, hops, pipes, fool's parsley, carlene, puppy milk, and much, much more. Buy and sell the woods bounty at Master Topicals. Beware of knights in red plate. A plague's descended on our lands of late. An infestation more vile than that of any vermin. Renegade knights from the Order of the Flaming Rose have chosen to make our fair terrain their devilish stomping grounds. Now no man can feel safe here. These so-called knights act as common highway bandits. They steal men's crops and befoul any lasses worth their trouble. We've sent writs of complaint to the sheriff, but till he comes with an army to clear off these mongrels, best avoid these parts if at all possible. All oh, these renegades are from the Order of the Flaming Rose? What? Contract. Apprentice. Gone. Missing. Good folk. My apprentice, Folkert has disappeared without a trace. I'm terribly worried for him, so whoever finds him and brings him back shall receive a sizable sum of Novigrad crowns. If you're interested, come to my hut on the outskirts of Oxenford. If you lose the way, ask passing peasants where the local herbalist has his practice and they'll guide you. Otto Bamber, herbalist. Oh, and now we're gonna get new question marks, huh? There's a few near us already. Hey, there was one here. Oh, wait, what? How many new ones did they add? <gasps> There's 31 now. Oh, man. We only had five before. Dang. Well, well, I'm sure we'll have enough time to get to all of them. Yeah, why not? Okay. Let's look at this town first. We'll view that. Without a trace. That's the contract. A witcher, as I live and breathe. Hello. Would you like an autograph? Could use a drum of hooch. We got a nice little village here. Ooh. List of wedding guests. Do I recognize any of these names? I don't think so. Silver Spoon Thief. Can't hold their liquor, her especially. <laughs> We're mostly inviting other couples here. Okay. Somebody's getting married. Are they gonna invite me? I'll come. If you invite me. I'll gift you a mug for your wedding. For your marriage. How about that? Not the one that I just stole from you, okay? A different one, obviously. <laughs> Yo, Jonas. Greetings. Greetings. Are you special? You have a name. Oh. Whoa, this town here feels a little bit different than the towns we've seen so far. I like it. No lasses astray, scamp. Feels like a vacation spot. Your ass here, great too. We have the barn here. Kitty. Oh, it might be the DLC, but the cats still hate me all the same. It's getting cold. It's just the barn here. Hens, roosters, animals everywhere. Oh, the geese are so cute. 
Wasn't there an inn here? Where is the inn? Not here? Oh my god, we're in the pigsty. Wading through some mud. Yeah, I'm not gonna open it because I don't want the pigs coming out. But geez! My newly made mastercrafted armor is already that covered in mud. Where is the inn? I got no clue. Maybe it's like over here? Okay, sure. Why not? We'll have a look. We'll go to that one first. There's no in here, though. I don't think so. Oh, look at this, though. There's like a little pool here. Very nice, very nice. Winestone. Have we ever seen that item before? Or is that a new item? You know, one thing a little bit special about this village is that it has like a big gate and some walls. Usually for the poorer villages that we see, they're kind of just like a patch of grass. But these people, maybe they're pretty well off. Hello? Is this the inn? No. At your service. Nobody's got anything for me. All right. Your ass here, great too. Maybe. 